Hey everybody, uh, the day has come. I am about to head to the airport to pick up the uh, new owner and his wife of my 2020 uh, GT500 base model. Um, it's gonna be a sad day when I see this thing drive away here a little bit later. Um, it's a fabulous car and I'll be without a car, uh, without a 2020 GT500 for a couple months uh, while I wait for the uh, carbon fiber track pack uh, version to arrive. But uh, yeah, this has been a fun car. Um, if uh, you get the chance, uh, go get yourself one. They're awesome. Off to the airport. All right, heading to the airport. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen my for sale video, which uh, I don't know, for some reason is about to break 100,000 views, it went kind of crazy. Uh, wondering why I'm selling my uh, car. Um, when I initially ordered uh, the 2020 GT500 from a uh, dealer in Texas, uh, they were unable to uh, secure a carbon fiber track pack allocation. Uh, we tried. Um, not all dealers have what's called the golden ticket. Um, and my dealership did not uh, have one of those uh, allocations. Um, all they had was one base allocation for the year. So um, I went ahead with the, with the order. And, um, uh, you know, the carbon fiber track pack cars that I could find uh, available online all just had crazy high markups um, across the country. I, I called all over the place. Um, so I was very happy with my uh, base model. It was one of the first 100 to be delivered. Got it last uh, early December, and uh, just an amazing car. Um, you know, there's really nothing base about the base model. It is, it is a freaking supercar. Um, Plan to keep it forever. Loved it, um, and then just uh, without even looking, I was, uh, I stumbled across a, um, a uh, allocation. Uh, you know, a dealer uh, posted an allocation for a carbon fiber track pack, um, and the markup that he had listed was uh, considerably less than uh, the others that I've seen around. Um, so initially I went, eh, you know, I already have a car, didn't think much of it, and then, uh, you know, it was starting to bug me. And I said, well, I, I at least need to uh, inquire. So I, I checked in with him and he said, uh, yep, uh, we got one available, um, not built yet, uh, but the allocation is available now. And uh, <clears throat> the uh, markup is, you know, X amount, and I already have two others. I, I think uh, maybe I was number two on the list. We got to, already have another guy that that is okay with the markup and uh, he's checking to see if he can swing it. Um, he, and he said, I, I gotta give him till the end of business day tomorrow to uh, see if uh, he wants to go for it or not. So uh, I said, all right, you know, either way, I either keep my base model or, um, you know, I'll go for this one if it becomes available. So at the end of the next day, uh, he contacts me and uh, says, car's yours if you want it. And I was like, well, crap. And actually, at the time, my uh, base model was at the uh, Clear Bra Ceramic and Window Tint place. It, it was there for a little over two weeks. Um, so I said, all right, I, I'm your guy, I'm your buyer. So I uh, wrote him a check and uh, mailed that uh, for a deposit. And uh, then when I got the, uh, the base model back from um, the Clear Bra place, I started um, you know, looking at potential buyers. Um, I had a buyer lined up initially. <clears throat> Um, and, uh, you know, he had been stringing me along for a while, which was fine by me because I was really in no hurry to sell it. Um, but when the time came to uh, execute the deal, um, he was nowhere to be found, went silent. So I, uh, I filmed my first sale video that uh, some of you guys have seen and uh, posted it and got uh, five uh, interested parties right away. Uh, three of which were serious and ready to buy. Um, and uh, the gentleman that I'm going to pick up today, uh, he was the first one with uh, the money across the finish line. And then uh, later that day, there was another gentleman from California that uh, really wanted it. And he was kind of bummed uh, that he missed out on that. But uh, he and I still stay in contact. And uh, I've given him a couple leads. Um, so hopefully he can end up finding one for himself. Um, but uh, it's been fun. The car, uh, my base model, uh, still has the same exact mileage um, on it that... Uh, when I filmed the video, the for sale video, I think it was like 782.2 if I remember correctly. Uh, car hasn't moved since then, it's been sitting in my garage. Um, I have driven some 2020s uh, since then. I went to the uh, uh, 2020 GT500 track attack, uh, which was crazy fun in Charlotte. Made a big video on that to show uh, for those that are going what they're getting into. And then uh, last weekend I was up in uh, Rochester, New York and uh, got to uh, meet up with a fellow 2020 owner there and, and drive his car on a Mustang cruise. We had a lot of fun. 
Um, but uh, after this car goes away, I'll be sans 2020 GT500 for a couple months. Um, so uh, hopefully the uh, carbon fiber track pack gets built uh, and gets delivered. I'm expecting it uh, mid-August uh, with all the you know painted stripe uh, delay and the shipping delay. Uh, so we'll see. But in the meantime, I've got to go uh, to the airport to pick up uh, the new owner. All right, so we got uh, Doug. The uh, <laughs> new owner of the car, we're walking down to the garage. Gonna see it for the first time. They're in tow. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully it's still in the garage there, Doug. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for it. <laughs> All right, come on in. There's your new baby. <laughs> I've scared her a few times. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it sure is. Pops a little bit outside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they make it look really good. That's it. That's all you got? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, a little video here. So we just got done uh, doing a little tutorial on all the tech in this car. And uh, Doug's going to take the car for a drive. You ready for this? Ready for a spin. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, there it is. There it is. There you, it is. Give us some gas. <laughs> more when you stomp this pedal down. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you can feel the rear end start. You got traction. Is traction control on? Or on? It's on, but we're in sport mode, so it okay. loosens up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. The rear end will slip on just, well, you'll feel it. Oh, yeah. Curiosity. What is the speed limit on this road right here? Uh, I think it's 200. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we got traffic here. <laughs> No, we didn't uh, press the unbutton. Okay. So whenever you pull it, pull a paddle and override the automatic shifting, it'll kind of hold that for a little while. Wow. <laughs> that, <Wow>. just, <laughs> that just kicks right in there. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it's exciting from this side, too. <laughs> Hit it. That just kicks right in there.
that made you metric? I don't know. <laughs> is thirsty fun though uh, he's enjoying the heck out of the car and it's actually fun to see fun to be in the right seat and see uh, see somebody who's never been in one of these cars before get to experience it especially a uh, GT350 owner very cool all right uh, so we got back from the uh, run so Doug we lived what did you think I, that is an awesome car <laughs> that is an awesome car yeah, that's a kick. I think you're going to have some fun with it. Oh, my gosh. All right, go scare your wife yeah, now. Yeah, no, she's <laughs> when you're getting in the beast here. So, hey, Doug, hop in it, uh, fire it up, and then get out, and I'll set up nav for you to go back to that same place. Okay. Oh, let me get the key out of it. Yeah. Make sure to leave the key in here for you. Sure. <laughs> so we uh, came back to the house and uh, Doug kicked me out and uh, we got his lovely wife in the uh, right seat and they set off uh, to go show her what the car is like. Uh, it was actually a lot of fun for me riding in the right seat. I've had this car since uh, December. I've driven it uh, quite a bit. I've driven uh, the cars at uh, both Vegas and Charlotte. I've driven friends uh, 2020 GT500s. So I'm uh, quite used to the cars. It was fun to see, you know, fresh eyes on the cars. Uh, you know, a GT350 owner who's used to the platform, used to the handling, um, but just the insane acceleration, um, braking, um, and watch, <laughs> watch his reactions and, you know, surprise as the car just uh, gets up and boogies. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, we had a good uh, safe ride, um, but, uh, you yeah. know, he was blown away by the performance of the car. They're out there right now uh, having at it, and uh, we're gonna par park it back in the garage uh, when they're all done. Um, yeah, we'll get back with uh, more on this video in a bit. It's time to drive this sucker out. It's a 
beautiful morning. Good day for a long drive. some sleep ready for a big uh, road trip Doug yes <laughs> yes yes That's right good. hit the road it's gonna be fun should be, should be a blast going across last look at this beauty we had some fun driving it yesterday What an awesome car. Awesome people too. That's it. Well, that's it. They just uh, drove off in their new toy. Uh, they're setting out on a fabulous uh, road trip. Um, they're going up to the mountains. Uh, they're gonna spend a few days getting home. Uh, yeah, a little sad to see the car go. Uh, what an amazing car. It's gonna be a long uh, couple months while I wait for the uh, next one. Um, but we had a lot of fun yesterday. They got to hang out with us, uh, spent the night last night, and a uh, big road trip today. But uh, hope you enjoyed me saying goodbye to my uh, 2020 GT500. Yes, it was a little sad uh, to see it go down the road. But uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.